Welcome back to the final part of our hunt for a corking 10 grand car. We started with six contenders, but the ride quality of the Fiat Panda just wasn't good enough. That's very noisy, isn't it? It is quite loud. Lost suspension noise coming up. And it was the first to be rejected. Next for the chop was the Dacia Sandero. Once again, poor ride quality was its downfall. The steering's quite crashy. Every little bump it jolts. The seats are not giving me a great deal of support. It's noisy. The MG3 felt like a more expensive car, and it had a more powerful engine. Significantly faster, but that meant it was less economical than the rest. Significantly worse emissions, and it had to go. Then the Toyota Igo was eliminated because it simply didn't cut the mustard on the lifestyle and design front. Do I look comfy? No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. This is nowhere near as good. No. Which leaves us with these two, the Kia Picanto and Volkswagen's Up. And it also leaves us with this empty test track, because now we want to find out how much fun they are to drive. Do they go fast and do they handle? It's at this point I hand over the keys to our professional touring car driver, Mr Jason Plato. Right, come on. <laughs> Stopwatch at the ready. We're going to see which car can record the fastest lap time. We're starting with a Picanto. It's not all about that time. No, it's about the, the feel. Yeah, how does it feel? See, because I didn't drive this earlier. You did, didn't you? Yeah, I did, and I liked it. Right, it felt go. good. Let's go. Oh. That feels neat. But the steering's I mean, got a good a... feel to it. It's relatively reactive. Most people will buy this car to do shopping. But if you're going to do shopping, you may as well do it quickly. Well, yeah. On the Alpine track, JP was clearly not holding back. I've got a grab handle and everything, <laughs> and I'm going to need it. And the Picanto seemed to be holding on as tight as Johnny. It's really good. It's hanging on on the front. But then, on the steeper uphill section... Struggling a bit up here. Yeah, but yeah. actually, do you know what? It's a good little chassis. Yeah. It's quite well damped. Yeah, it's really well damped. Oh, yeah. there's not oh. too much roll in it. <laughs> did you go, oh, Yeah, I did, I did. Yeah. I just quivered. Despite my doubts about these 10 grand cars, I was having a blast. I've got my tongue out. You know what that means? Be concentrated. Yeah, that means we're going to have a go round here. It's much more fun than I thought it was going to be. It, yeah, it is. You know, it's not too soft. No, it's not. That's a bit oh. unnerving <laughs> around there, isn't it, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I, got, I felt a bit of wee-wee try and come out <laughs> then. <laughs> we got to jump. Eh, eh. I mean, we are in a real base model kind of car, and you're, you're enjoying <laughs> it. You're enjoying it. Ready? Yeah. Oh, One minute, 56. I have to say, it oh, drives it, really oh, well. I thoroughly enjoyed that. It's good fun, isn't it? It's a good car. It's a really good little car. <laughs> enjoyed that. You really enjoyed that. <laughs> The Kia's lap time was 1 minute 56 seconds. Will the VW up take it down? I have a hunch that this is not going to quite drive as well as the Picanto for some reason. But this is an older car. I'm interested to see how close they are. I think, I think it'll be closer than we think, actually. It's not as quick. It's nowhere near as, 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 as grunty, is it? It's not as responsive. The Volkswagen is 25 horsepower down on the Kia, and the deficit was obvious off the line. 95 newton metres of torque. It's not a lot in today's money. I've just got to make it up on the corners, babes. Oh, I've got no grab handle either. <laughs> <laughs> and the little up was mightily impressive through the bends. Do you know what? I mean, it's a, it's a good drive. Do you know it's got good grip? Yeah, it has. I think we'll go third through here. Really? Oh, you fighter. Oh, what was that? that? That was the old traction control giving it, you know, the stability. Oh, that was ABS. The traction control interference on the up felt like it was costing it time compared to the Kia. Oh, oh I never know where to turn in there. That's about right. Right, let's see what air we get. What oh, do you reckon? Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Air. <laughs> 
got a bit of bounce. Got some, didn't we? we got a bit of bounce on the landing. Oh, I thought it was going in that fast. <laughs> I thought I was going to give that a little kiss then. Hey, 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 hey. Um, stop the watch. It's slower. It is slower. The Volkswagen Up lapped the circuit in just over two minutes, three seconds. That's a full seven seconds slower than the Kia Picanto. This feels a better engineered car, feels more quality, yeah. but that's more fun to drive than this. It's very close. It's tough, this. This whole test is tough from the start. It just goes to show that even bottom of the pecking order cars can be brilliant. So after the final round of our 10 grand car showdown, the Kia Picanto was the fastest around the Alpine circuit and a much more fun car to drive. It drives really well. I thoroughly enjoyed that. But the VW's superior build quality makes it a better car to live with every day. However, there can only be one winner. <laughs> interesting day. Really interesting. Close. I can't believe how they can make a car as good as this. Yeah for the money. Well, and they can make a car like this with a seven-year warranty for the money. It kind of makes you think we're paying a bit over the top for the other stuff. Totally. Right. We're down to the final two, and it's really, really difficult. This is a surprisingly entertaining car. I know it is. That was arguably more fun to yeah. drive, but if you look at everything and you have to live with them every single day, this, this for me is a clear winner. Yeah, I think that just edges it because I like the, ultimately, I like the style, but both are extremely practical and entertaining actually so today you turned up thinking you were going to drive six rubbish cheap cars yes i did and you know what hands up uh, yeah i'm wrong yeah and it's been a close run race but that the vw up i think edges it it's our favorite <laughs>